On here are the top local stories you need to know as you get ready to start your day or Thursday morning rush starts right now. Well, Robert Stevenson, a man who's currently facing charges for sexually abusing children, will appear in court today. Richland County deputies say Stevenson evaded arrest for months before eventually turning himself in on November 12th of last year. Stevenson is currently being held at the Richland County Jail. His preliminary hearing will take place at noon today. Well, in less than three hours, the House Judiciary Subcommittee is scheduled to meet to discuss a new abortion bill. The new bill includes exceptions for life and health of a mother, as well as fetal anomalies. The subcommittee hearing is going to take place at 9 o'clock this morning. Well, Governor Henry McMaster is pressing forward with efforts to further restrict abortion. In his annual State of the State address last night, the governor said he plans to petition for a rehearing in response to the fetal heartbeat law being struck down by the state Supreme Court. The state's fetal heartbeat abortion law essentially bans abortions at six weeks. The governor was critical of the state Supreme Court that ruled the measure was unconstitutional. McMaster says he plans to file the petition next week along with other state officials. And a former Lexington County probationary cadet is facing felony DUI charges this morning following an off-duty car crash that took place on January 15th. Lexington County Sheriff Jay Coon says the man identified as Robert Garofalo was fired from the department yesterday. Garofalo is currently booked at the Richland County Jail. Well, that is your Thursday morning rush. For more local headlines, just head to our web channel, WLTX.com. You can also find the very latest by downloading the free News 19 app.